Welcome back to Shotoku Tech. So I'm working through some of the comments here on this video TTGO Wi-Fi switch. I have this comment from Mark asking about how I would use this Wi-Fi switch sketch on the T-Watch 2020 to change background images and text. And that's fairly interesting because it goes along with this remote control sort of scenario that I'm going for. And then on the TTGO T-Watch 2020 firmware update video, my friend John is talking about Bluetooth, and I haven't done anything with Bluetooth in the ESP platform at all. So, between displaying multiple images on the T-Watch 2020 and exploring Bluetooth, these are the topics we're going to delve into in this video. And ultimately, it's going to head towards remotely controlling the TTGO T-Watch, either via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So, first to answer my friend's question about multiple images displayed on the TTGO T-Watch, I thought I'd use PictoBlox as it seemed like it would be the easiest way to go here. You've got to make sure you select the T-Watch board in the board menu and that gets you all the T-Watch commands and features. I've also prepared two images that are 240 pixels by 240 pixels so there won't be any translation needed. And now we're going to start building a program in PictoBlox here. So the first thing you need to do is when the watch starts up. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the text color to white with the blue background and set the text size to 3. Then I'm going to set up information about the two images that I'm going to present. You want to add a new image and give it a name. So there's my first image that's 240 by 240. So I'm going to name another new image, and there's my other 240 by 240 image. So that's basically my setup. If you look over on the upper right hand side, you see those two, the Shotoku and the channel over here. Shotoku and channel, progmem, there's actually just this long string that represents each of the pixels in that image right here in the program. Now I'm going to do my void loop here. Okay, so within the loop, I'm adding some delays here. We'll go with a two-second delay. We go back into the display commands, and we're going to add display my image, but we have to select the name of the right image. And then you have to set the location. Then we're going to set the cursor location. And remember, my friend was saying, change the image and the text. So I'm setting the cursor location to write some text. Okay, so then we're going to wait two seconds, and we're going to display the other image. So you see here, I set the image name to channel and set the location to 0, 0. And then I'm going to set my cursor again. Yeah, you'll notice I left it at my image, and I'll have to catch that and go back and fix it later. I always show you my mistakes. All right. So here's my second image and my second text. So this is just going to loop through two images and two texts. So here's me going back and fixing that image to channel. And so we display one image with one block of text, and then we display another image with another block of text, and we're going to upload it, and here we go. And this is what it looks like. So that's pretty cool. So the problem I have here is when I bring this same code into the Arduino IDE, where I've already worked out the Wi-Fi switch scheme, it doesn't compile accurately because the underlying libraries are different from PictoBlocks from the Arduino IDE. The underlying libraries for PictoBlocks are in the PictoBlocks program installation folder, whereas the Arduino libraries are in Documents Arduino libraries in the Windows world. And the TTGO H file is remarkably different in the PictoBlocks repository than it is in the Arduino IDE. So we're going to go on to work with some Bluetooth now. 
So this is the example sketch in TT Go under Bluetooth Serial. And it's called Serial to Serial Bluetooth. There's also a Serial to Serial Bluetooth Master that I guess works as a master somehow. But this is real simple. It just fires up Bluetooth, it waits for a signal, and then it prints the signal out to the serial monitor. So we're going to go ahead and upload that. You also want to open your serial monitor in the Arduino IDE. Okay, so the program has been uploaded now, and you can see in the serial monitor, it's saying that Bluetooth has started, you can connect. So we're getting on the phone here, going into the Bluetooth menu, connecting to ESP32 test. Now I've already downloaded and configured this Android app called Serial Bluetooth Terminal, and I've configured a few macro buttons. So all you have to do is go in and select Devices, and then I select the ESP32 test, and you can see here it's connected. Now, I'm going to push the macro buttons. So when we look at the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE, we can see that it's actually receiving the macros from my cell phone via Bluetooth. So this is pretty cool, and I'm going to continue to explore this. I could see where you could take the T-Watch 2019 with a servo module and control two motors and have like a little two-wheeled robot that you could remote control, have a right button, left button, forward, backwards, and stop button. So that presents some interesting possibilities. So after working with Picto blocks, I come to realize because of the difference between the underlying libraries between it and the Arduino IDE that I really can't resolve those easily. So I'm going to be checking out my friend Max Smoke's tutorial on the TTGO T-Watch 2020 where he's displaying multiple images using the native firmware that he's sort of reverse engineered and you can get that here from his video description as well. And he's left enough white space in there that I'll be able to mix in my Wi-Fi code or some Bluetooth code and answer this question about remotely controlling the TTGO T-Watch, whether it's the 2020 version or the 2019 version. We're going to work in parallel on that. So stay tuned. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe. And click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.